Hello, my name is RD, and in this question, we are asked to find out what is I0 here using nodal analysis. So let's break it down into step by step of nodal analysis. The first thing that we need to do is label all the nodes. Label all the nodes. And the first nodes that I label always the bottommost node here as our ground. So this is our reference node. What does that mean? It's to be reference node. The voltage here will be zero. Good. And now we have three other essential nodes. Let's name this node here as node A. So the voltage here will be VA. And then this node here as the second essential node. And let's name this node here as VB. So the voltage here will be VB. And here we will have another junction here. So we will have this one as node C. So the voltage here is VC. Good. Now let's do the second step, which is assume the current's direction. Assume the current's direction. Okay. For the current source, we will have this one here. So I just follow the arrow of the current source. Similarly, I also have this current source here, but dependent one, but it is the same. We just follow the arrow of it. So this one will go to the right and this also goes to the right. And usually for the other component, if I got the horizontal component, I always assume it goes to the right. And then for the vertical component, I also assume it to be going down like this because it is easier for me to do analysis like this. However, you can do uh, whatever you like as long as you are consistent during the solving. Okay, now this is the most crucial step, which is do KCL for all nodes. Okay, we have three nodes here, so we need to do KCL at VA and then VB and then VC. So we will have three equation here. Okay, let's do the first KCL. Let's do KCL at node VA. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Good. Now, let's see here. We have two currents that goes out. Oh, three. One, two, and three here. All the currents is going out from VA. There is no current that goes in here. So, we will have zero because there is no current that goes in. So we'll have zero on the left hand side as the current that goes in. But on the right hand side, we will have three, right? The first one is four ampere. It is already in current. So we'll have four. But here we need to calculate this. So we will have here where the current comes from is the node VA. And then minus where the current goes to, which is it goes to this reference node. So I'll have zero. And then because this is voltage and this is current, we need to divide it by the resistance between them to get current, right? So we have VA minus 0 divided by 8. So we have it divided by 8 here. And then what else? We will have this one here. So, so we have where the current comes from, which is VA. And then where the current goes to, which is VC. So we'll have minus VC. And then, because this is voltage to get current, we divide by the resistance between them, which is 1 ohm. Good. Multiply both sides here by 8 to get rid of this denominator. So we'll have 0 is equal to 32. And then 8 and 8 will cancel each other. VA minus 0 is just VA here. Good. And then here we will have 1 and 8 will cancel into 8, so I will have 8 VA and then minus 8 VC. Okay, let's move things around here. So we'll have 
VA plus 8 VA will have 9 VA. And then minus 8 VC here. And then we'll, that will equal to, let's move this 32 to the left hand side. So I will have minus 32, but let's me write it here. So I'll have minus 32 here. And I think nothing that we can do from here. Uh, let's save this as equation number one. Good. And we are done for VA. Now let's do VB. Okay, let's do another KCL, but this time at node VB. KCL at node VB. What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, let's see here. The only current that goes in is this one, and that current is 4 ampere. So we'll put 4 as the current that goes in. Okay, there are two currents that goes out. This one, and that one here is 2I0. So we'll have 2I0, and then plus we will have here. Here we will have Pb, where the current comes from, and then minus 0 here where the current goes to, divided by the resistance between them, which is 2. But then we can note that I0 is this one here. So we need to take a note here. Let's see here, note, what is I0? Same with previous. So we can calculate I0 by using Ohm's law. So we'll have Pa here, where the current came from. And I0 goes to the ground, so we'll have minus zero and then it's divided by the resistance between them which is eight so i zero is just pa divided by eight okay let's substitute this into i zero so we'll have four is equal to two multiplied by pa over eight and we can also simplify this pb minus zero is just pb and then divided by 2. 2 and 8 will cancel into 4, but then we can multiply this by 4, right? So on the left hand side, I will get 16, and then 4 and 4 will cancel each other, so we will have PA, and then we will have plus 2VB, right? Because 2 and 4 will cancel into 2, so we'll have 2VB. Okay, good. Now, nothing that we can do from here. Let's move this 16 to the right hand side. So we will have this as equation number two. Good. Now we have two equations, but we have three variables, VA, VB, and VC. So we still need one more equation, right? And one more equation we can get from node VC here. Let's do that. So we will have KCL at not pc okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay now let's see what the current that goes in is so we will have this current here and this current here the first one is pa minus pc divided by 1, right, from that range. So we'll have PA minus VC divided by 1. That is from this one. And then we also have plus 2I0, which is comes from this one. And then that will equal to the only current that goes out. So I will have VC minus 0 divided by 4. Okay. But we already know what V I0 is. So let's replace that by this value here. So I0 is VA over 8. Okay, so we'll have this one, VA over 8. And again, we can cancel out this. So we'll have 4 here. And we can multiply both sides by 4. Okay. And I think I ran out of space here. Let's erase some things first. Okay, now let's continue here. We have this equation the last time. And let's multiply this out by 4. So we'll have 
this one for VA and then minus for VC. Okay. And then 4 and 4 will cancel each other. So we left it with VA. So I'll have VA here. And then that will equal to VC minus 0 will be VC. But 4 and 4 will cancel each other. So we will have this one as VC. Good. Now what can we do from here? Let's move things around. So we will have 5 VA. 5 PA and then minus 5 VC and that will equal to 0. Okay. And I think we can simplify many things from here. Right. So we'll have 5 PA is equal to 5 VC. Good. And so we will have PA is equal to VC. And that will be our equation number three. Good. And now we have three equation with three variables. What can we do next? We need to solve it. Let's save our three equation and solve the equation. Okay, now let's continue here. We can do the fourth step, which is solve the system of equation. So the linear systems equation right and how to do that we have equation 3 here VA is equal to VC so we can plug equation 3 into 1 here so we'll have 9 VA minus 8 VC but then VC is equal to VA let's just substitute it so we'll have minus 8 pa and that will equal to minus 32 good and here we will have 9 minus 8 we will have pa here is equal to minus 32 and so we'll have the unit here in fold and we have vc here as our bonus because va is equal to vc right so we'll have minus 32 fold but then from here, we can calculate for VB because VA plus 2VB is equal to 16. Maybe let's do some separator here. And VA is minus 32. So I can write it like this, minus 32 plus 2VB. And that will equal to 16. And so we'll have 2VB is equal to 48. But then VB will be 24 volt. Right? And now we have the value of VA, VB, and VC. And let's do the last step, which is answer the question. Answer the question. And then... What is the question asking us about? It is asking us about I0. And we already know that I0 is PA over 8. So we will have I0 is equal to VA. What is VA? Minus 32. So we will plug minus 32. And it is divided by 8. And so we will have I0 is equal to minus 4. And the unit is ampere because all the components are in SI unit. And this is the final answer for this question. And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.